Welcome to the ET335 video lecture on programmable logic devices. Here I am showing a programmable logic array, PLA, and this is an unprogrammed OR array. And we have three OR gates, and we have inputs into each one of the logic inputs. And we have A, which is a direct connection, and then we have A bar and B bar, which go through inverters. Okay, so these devices have fusible links where we could program them. These are OTP, one-time programmable, and once we program them, they are fixed into that logic. Okay, here's our OR array after programming, and you see some of the fuses are gone. They've been removed. And here we have A going through this un, un damaged fuse and going into the first. And then we have B going into the second input. And over here we have A bar going into the input and B bar going into the second input. And here we have A going in the first and B bar going to the second. So here is our equation for the outputs a plus b a bar plus b bar and a plus b bar here we have an unprogrammed and array and these are similar to the last one except these are going into and gates and again we have fusible links tied into the inputs here's our programmed and array and we've missing the triggered fuses and now we have A and B and the next one's going to be A bar plus B and then we have A plus B bar and here's our programmed array. Here we have a programmable logic array. This is a simplified industry drawing and what we've done is we just put an X and we have two inputs into these and it just simplifies them because we know that it's going to have two inputs. And this one is an AND into an OR so we're going to have an AND OR equation. And it's just going to be here would be A, B. And then we'll add the other ones as we go through. Okay, so let's solve for the Boolean equation for this PLA, and we'll start. We're going to have an A, and we're going to have a B, and their multiplication, and we have a C, and we're going to have a plus since it's going into the OR gate. The next one's going to be an A then a B, and then a C bar, plus, and then we're going to have an A bar, B bar, and C bar plus, and the last one would be an A, B bar, C bar, and that would be our question. Here's our answer for our PLA, and it is correct. Okay, let's program the PAL for the Boolean equation. So we're going to have an A bar, and a B bar, and a C. And then we're going to have an A, B bar, C bar, and then we're going to have an A bar, then a B, and a C. And the last one's going to be a A bar, B, and a C bar. Let's check. And here's our answer, and it looks like we uh, got it right. Here's a diagram of the digital logic family. So our standard logic will be our TTL and CMOS, the single IC, programmable logic, PLDs, FPLGAs, field programmable gate arrays, and complex PLDs. 
ASICs, which are custom made in the factory, the programmable are programmed after the fact, and a full custom would be a microprocessor or a RAM, which is specially designed for application. And then we have digital signal processors, who are basically converting digital to analog and back. Here we have a two line to four line decoder. So two to the second power would be four. And what we're going to do is have high outputs whenever our binary code is. So this is essentially in a selector. Here we have the logic diagram for a two line to four line decoder. So let's go through the binary input and program it. So since we have zeros and we want ones out, we're going to have to go A bar, B bar. And the next one's going to be A bar, B, because it's a 1. And then we're going to have a A, and then B bar. And then we're going to have an A, and a B. And that should be our design for two-line to four-line decoder. Here we have a three-line to eight-line decoder. So we have three inputs and we have eight possible selectors. And this is going to be a positive output because it's going to be one. So we go from Y0 to Y7. And again, we're going to put the Boolean in and it's going to select one of the eight outputs.